To list the contents of directories in Linux, you can use the ls command. First of all, to see what directory we're in, we can do pwd, print working directory. And if we do ls, it lists the contents of this directory. They're color coded by the file type. Blue is for folders, white for files, and this yellow color is for a pipe that was created. If we want to get more details, we can do ls-l, which stands for long format. Now we have the type of file explicitly displayed in addition to the color coding. Plus we have the owner and the group that owns the file and the creation date. Not all files are going to be listed because some files are hidden. So for example, if we create a file that starts with a dot, we'll do the ls-l again, but the file doesn't show. If we add an a for all, now we can see all the files, including the ones that start with a dot. And here's the file that we just created. This includes the special files of dot and dot dot. So if we look at the very top of our files here, you'll see this special file that's just a single dot, and that means the current directory. Then there's another special file, two dots, and that means parent directory, the directory that's right above us. So for example, if we do ls dot dot, it shows the directory that was right above us. Recall that we're currently in slash home slash Jeremy. So the Jeremy folder is the directory right above us. Now if we look at ls-l capital A, it'll show all the hidden files except for those two special ones. We can see that the dot and dot dot are not shown with the capital A. This is not really that important if you're just listing the contents of directories. But if you were scripting the ls command, you may not necessarily want those two special files put into your output file. We can also do ls-d, and this will show directory. And ls-r, which recurses and shows all the files inside of a directory. So for example, Let's do an ls on the downloads directory. And we can see the contents immediately within that directory are these two files and these two folders. Now if we add the capital R option for recurse, the ls command will apply itself to these two directories as well and continue downwards until it reaches the end of all possible files and directories that are in the downloads directory. In other words, it'll list everything under the downloads directory. So we can see this is quite a bit more than just the immediate files. To make the output more readable, you can use dash H. So let's do the LA again, but we'll add the H on the end. So now if you look at the file sizes, you'll see that they're listed in kilobytes, and they can also be listed in megabytes and gigabytes. One of the most common uses of LS is to do LS-LA, and this is a pretty good habit to get into because it'll show you the long format and show you all the files. It's a quick way to get 
a really good handle on all the files there in a particular directory.